Today, we gotta solve a problem that hasn't been a big problem, but still, it's gonna solve a problem that we've been having with our chickens. Dogs are fighting in the garden. Bailey, Milo, what are you doing? Come on, get out of there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed them their food. I'm only gonna give them about half of what we normally would get them here in the morning, and then I'm gonna come back and give them some more food, but there's a reason for that, so let's just give them half the food right now. Then I'm gonna kind of explain what the plan is for the rest of the day. We have two chickens going broody right now. One went out for breakfast. So Miss Rosie was still sitting on her eggs. Chickadee came out and you can see all the eggs that she's sitting on right now. Hopefully she gets back to sitting on those because I think we are deciding that we do want to see if we can hatch out our own chicks. All right, so they got some food. They got some fresh water. Now actually what's a little weird right now is that normally, this is only the second morning of this, we'd have to go to the back, move the chicken tractor with our Cornish cross and feed them, give them fresh water and now it's like one last thing to do in the morning now that we just processed them about two days ago. So it kind of feels like an empty feeling, like there's one less job to do. But I don't want to ruin it yet. There could be a new animal coming real, real soon. But I'm not going to say it just yet. This hasn't necessarily been a huge problem for our chickens. But what's been happening is we feed them in the morning and we give them two separate like rubber bowls so that they can all try to fit in. And I even feel like with the two bowls, I feel like you can maybe hit like five chickens, six chickens around those. We do have 15 chickens. So to fit seven in one, eight in one bowl where they can all eat at the same time doesn't really work out. So we're gonna put together a new feeder here real quick using PVC piping and some wood. And that's it. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. Chicken feeder's done. Now, like I said, I only gave them half the food in the morning for a reason. So now, we get to test this baby out and hopefully it works good. It looks like it's working out really good. Obviously they're hungry, so them eating doesn't make it a sign if it's good or not. But I think that they're all able to find room in there a lot easier than it was than having the two bowls. And I don't know, it just feels better dumping it across the whole long thing like that than it is to just throw it into one bowl. We came to check to see both mamas are still sitting on eggs. Me and Chelsea were actually just thinking, do we really want both of them to be sitting on eggs or not? How many eggs do we want hatched? And that also does supply us with less eggs because when they get up, I'm thinking that there's still chickens laying in those spots here and there. We are losing out on some eggs, but if I'm counting in here, we have one broody mama, and we have three in this one, zero in this one, and how many? Six. Six. So nine eggs, and that would all be from today. And we have 14 laying hens, so I'm thinking 14, laying hens, nine eggs laid in there, so it doesn't mean they're always laying in the spots that these two are sitting. But when they do get up, like I said, they can be, so we could lose egg supply having two broody hens. And then also, for some weird reason, if a ton of chicks hatch, that, that puts a lot more new animals here on our homestead. Do you want to have some baby chicks? Uh-huh. You like baby chicks, don't you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold chick and eat then and I'm going to say... You're going to say she's a good mama? Yes. All right, guys. Have fun eating. I hope you like the new feeder. Bailey, what'd you get? Leave it, Bailey, leave it. Oh man, what? Bailey's protecting the garden. How do you feel? That's a rat. It's not. I don't think it's a rat. Yeah, that's a rat. That's no, a rat. I have a long tail. 
Bailey. Are you protecting the garden? Good girl. What do we got? Carrots coming? Yeah. Holy moly, how many seeds yeah. did you throw in there? I threw the whole bag. I just wanted to make sure we got some. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be work out. <laughs> I've said this before here in our vlogs. Bailey, our Wheaton Terrier, is definitely the true guardian farm dog. Mr. Fluff Pants over there, otherwise known as Milo. <laughs> Milo, he sniffs flowers. Yeah. Bailey searches for the moles. Bailey, what are you doing? Oh, that's stuck to your face. <laughs> now we have a mole to pick up. Our moles that we have here on our property are just awful. We've never really seen it before. I didn't even know what a mole looked like, to be honest. I just had to search it after looking at that. It's like torn up the yard, front and backyard. And it never caused anything that we know of as damage other than just like the yard has some weak spots. So wait, I thought you were gonna pick up the mole. You were gonna pick up the mole. No. Are you sure? That's not on my rock, paper, rock, paper, scissors. Responsibilities. Are you gonna clean the toilets? Okay, don't. You don't need to do that on the vlog here in front of 10 people that watch us. I wonder if it came out of here. All right, sniffing so hard. I just looked out the window and I saw Bailey like rough housing in the garden by herself and then I saw something just fling across the garden. She was tossing it around and playing with it. Maybe that's all she was trying to do. <laughs> How's the spaghetti sauce looking? That's so pretty good. A lot more tomatoes still. No canning because there's skin. Yeah, for this recipe. So we can't can this recipe, but we have three freezers, so we'll be able to put it in one of the three freezers. Good thing we have them. And we're talking about that we might need to somehow get another one. A different one and we could sell the other ones. Would we? Mm. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I don't know if we would. I just got done cutting the grass a few hours ago and let me show you these moles that are just terrorizing our yard. All of this is little mole troll, <laughs> mole trolls, our little mole pathways. And I mean, they are just all over. To be honest, I'm not very upset that Bailey got one. Bailey could find them all if she could, but I know that kind of seems unlikely, so we might, just might, have to look into how to stop moles. Like I said, they really haven't been bothersome. It's annoying to see those things in the grass. Not the end of the world for me, so that's what they do to your yard, though. All right, so a thing that we've actually been doing also, like I said, I just cut the grass, and what I've been doing lately is finding the really bad spots of grass clippings that just over pile in the yard. Yes, if I got like a sweeper or some kind of bag system to try to pick up a lot of that so that's not all over the yard, that would obviously be better. What I've been doing though is I'll go and I'll grab our orange like winter sled that we have for the kids, and we've been using that all around the yard to haul things and move things. Take that, I'll get a rake, I'll rake up grass clippings, bring them over and put them in the compost bin. Putting them in the compost bin helps the compost build up. And before I did it, I was like, I didn't know if it was something that was good. It seemed like it, that I could just throw it in the compost bin. I mean, you could almost throw anything you want in the compost bin, but don't. Grass clippings actually have a high nitrogen level, so that'll definitely help your compost. Obviously, you want other things mixed in with it, not just grass clippings. Between our chicken manure, the grass clippings, wood shavings, any weeds that we pick, any ends and cores and fruits and skins and anything like that that we put inside the compost. It's been really building it up and I can tell that it looks really nice and I'm excited for us to trial and error and see how it works for our first time. And also the chickens love playing in the grass clippings afterwards. They always scratch around in it just like anything else that we throw into the compost bin. So I always think it works out pretty good. What do you think? You see that face? That's a face of somebody who knows that it's gonna be good compost. Yeah. Cool. Fall is starting to happen. It's starting to be cool much more than it is to be really hot. The nights are coming a little sooner, so having a little bit of fire before putting the girls down and being able to enjoy it. We're getting closer to the end of this day for us though, so we're gonna enjoy the fire, have a nice good family time out here for the next 10 minutes or so, and you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow, and of course, we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Theo, where are you taking that? You want to help me put it in the compost? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>